Oh, smash that like button. We already got people in the room. Salute to the rec mall. Y'all know the M rec room etiquette. Smash that like button, man. Let me get this screen right. Pardon, so. You know, I'm doing it live. We gonna talk about it. Your man Lloyd Banks. He ain't waste no time to respond. Mm. Exposes the truth on DMX. Yes, sir. Smash that like button. Let's get it. There's a lot of people in the room already. We're going to talk about it, man. I'm going to bring you up to speed. For those maybe that's out the loop. Well, we're going to talk about it. You know, I'm going to play that little clip of DMX, you know, doing what he does. Wilding out. Definitely was wilding on this. Hold on. Let me see if y'all can see it. But the main thing is... For you to hear it. it ain't about y'all seeing it hold on i'm gonna play that clip where it all started from lloyd banks definitely responded and, and exposed that dmx is really a fan but a lot of niggas is mad at me don't be mad at me no a uh, uh, clown niggas a few clown niggas because they, they they uh dmx fanatics it is what it is you know i call it down the middle and anybody mentioning my name is a green light on you so you know that's just what it is Lloyd Banks, Big Al, Eminem, DMX, Trey. Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks. Huh? Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks. 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 Lloyd Banks, a lyricist? All right, so this is how Lloyd Banks responded. Let me bring up um, the clip. Lloyd Banks, a lyricist? All right, so this is how Lloyd Banks responded. Let me bring up um, hold on one second. I know you're trying to call. Let me um, make sure the phone is on. Don't call me yet. Call me in like five minutes. Y'all can call me in five minutes. Let me um, bring up this Lloyd Banks response. All right, so somebody named Young Drew at reply Lloyd Banks, right? No, the, the, the dude, um, keep jewels. He says, dog man is my guy. Here we go. Dog man is my guy and all that. But with DMX talking about, I don't know, like how he wrote that. He, I guess he mean like dog man is my guy and all. But what DMX talking about? Laughing out loud at Lloyd Banks, right? So Lloyd Banks responds to that. Like what he says. Oh. He responded on some, damn, where is it at? Oh, I have no clue. God bless him, right? So now, the next tweet, hold on, y'all. I told y'all, hold on, hold on. I told y'all, hold on. I'm going to get back to y'all. Hold on. Hold on. The next tweet, Lloyd Banks, yo, fam, just hold on one second. The, Lord, the next tweet, your man Lloyd Banks, what'd he say? Hold on, fam. The next tweet, Lloyd Banks is like, so because I didn't come to the studio to work with you, when you reached out, I'm not that good. See, I knew it was some hate there, but hold on, let me get to this phone. The lines is on fire. Yo, state your name, where you calling from, fam? Yo, what up, what's the world of this six cent? I'm out of VA right now. All right, no cursing, fam. So what you think about Lloyd Banks putting DMX on blast at the DMX was trying to say Lloyd Banks is not a lyricist? I would say that um, DMX probably just spilling his ego his mm. up there. You know, I would give DMX um, a top slot in an all-time of um, lyricist. You know, greatest rappers. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Lloyd Banks will give DMX a run for his money. Because Lloyd Banks up there with Jay-Z, like, like mm, like talk that like talk, fam. Like Smash that like button, y'all. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette. Hit that like button. Fam talking that talk right now. Take Jay -Z, man. I, take Jay -Z. No doubt, man. I appreciate you calling and all that, man. The lines is lit, so I, I got to take another caller. All right? Peace. Yo, state your name and where you calling from. Yeah, brother. This is Michael Harrison. Uh, calling from 
Alabama, man. Just represent, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of your uh, content, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm not going to hold you. Yeah, and I'm, I know to keep my language clean, bro. Yeah, so I, I thank you. I'm, you know, so. Uh, but first of all, I want to say, hey, man, I like everything you do, bro. We love you down here in Alabama, even though we way down south. Nah, it's all love. I got mad love. I got mad love for Alabama. I want to say thank you to you and your team that's showing love, man. So talk about it, man. Speak your piece. Okay, listen, I'm not, not going to hold you too long, but I'm still going to say this, man. Um, I saw, well, I kind of saw when DMS called out Lloyd Banks, but I never saw Lloyd Banks respond, so I'm just not Oh, yeah, I'm, well, let me read it to you. It was the tweet. He responded on Twitter, and he said pretty much, so because I didn't want to come to your studio to work when he reached out, I'm not that good. And he put, you know, the emoji, laughing emoji. You know what I'm saying? So so pretty much DMX is hating on Lloyd Banks because I guess he didn't pull up to the studio when DMX reached out. And when Fat Man Scoop asked uh, DMX, you know, who's his top MCs and, and, and Fat Man Scoop mentioned all his top MCs and he mentioned Lloyd Banks. DMX is like Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks, the lyricist, like that, you know what I'm saying? Name me four balls and all that. So this is where all this is coming from. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, let, let, let me say this, because like I said, I know you got other callers. Yeah, hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Let me close this window, because there's a lot of noise. Hold on. Niggas making mad noise outside. Niggas, boy, I tell you, <laughs> niggas couldn't wait to go, go outside. These nasty niggas. How, how, you, how, you, how you dealing with the pandemic up there, man? I'm, I'm from New York, man. It's like, man, everybody safe up there and there? Yeah, everybody good, family. Smash that like button, y'all. Y'all know the MREC room yeah, etiquette. Yeah, and smash that like button. Also, hold on. Also, <laughs> donate to the Super Chat, too. My Super Chat is back. So we talking about real quick. Okay. Let me let me let me let me talk to the people in the room. Lloyd Banks responds to DMX when DMX says the fat man scoop. Lloyd Banks is not a lyricist. Lloyd Banks says so because I didn't come to your studio to work with you when you reached out. I'm not that good. Laughing at him now. All right, fam. Speak your piece. Let's get it. Okay. Let me say this, brother. Like I said. Uh, you gotta hurry up and get out the line because other people trying to get in. Yeah. But I would say this though, me growing up on hip hop, I feel, I really feel like, okay, you know, lately they've been doing these Instagram battle offs and stuff like mm -hmm. that with hip hop. But for DMX to say that Lloyd Banks is not a lyricist is totally unfair and that's unassertive. Because for the simple fact is, you gotta think, if y'all wanna talk about lyrical ability, DMX style is totally different from um, Lloyd Banks. Like, they talk about, like, okay. Now, facts. I got you, fam. But yo, just call back. I gotta take another caller, fam. I'm I'm trying to get to okay, everybody. Brother, all right. Okay, brother. Oh. Yo, state your name and where you calling from. Hello. Oh damn. But like I was saying, I knew that DMX response was it had a little hatred in it, and sure enough, Lloyd Banks pulled out the documents, the receipts. Well, you know. He let people, know. you know, Banks is the type of dude, he keeps everything to himself, man. But at the same time, he ain't going to let nobody um expose him, you know what I'm saying? Or try to assassinate his character, you know what I'm saying? So he had to let it be known, like, nah, this is where this is coming from. The homie reached out, I ain't pull up to the studio, so he mad. Yo? Yo, state your name? Damn, man. Y'all calling me, but I'm I'm picking up. I don't know what's up with y'all. When y'all call me, be ready. You know what I'm saying? Be ready. Because there are other people trying to tap in. Smash that like button. Support the super chat. Shouts to my man, Matthew Mann. I know he probably in here somewhere. Shouts to everybody who donated to the last live when I went live this morning. You could donate to the super chat. Also, I got the links to PayPal, my cash app, in the video description. Um, let me see what the people saying in the chat. Yeah, people in here say... Saying to say Lloyd Banks ain't lyrical is ludicrous. I feel you. Smash that like button. Like, I couldn't even understand why DMX would say something like that. Like, and then people got mad. So all your clown dudes getting mad, talking about 
Why am Rec disrespecting DMX? I ain't disrespect DMX. DMX hit work. And other people who called up and felt the same way. Like DMX must have been on that work. Like it is what it is. And to say Lloyd Banks is not a lyricist, it had to be hate or it had to be, you know, coming from him being smoked out. It is what it is. So we know where the true nature of the hate come from. Stop being fanatics. Yo. Mute your audio, fam. Anytime you call MREC TV, you got to have your audio muted. Yo. Yo. Yo, I don't know what's up with y'all. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette. When you call me, right, make sure your audio is muted because it's going to echo on the phone. You know what I'm saying? I got love for all y'all, but y'all got to follow. You got to have proper etiquette, man. Yo. Hello? What up, What's happening, family? State your name, where you calling from, and keep it clean. Talk to me. Yo, this is Danny from California, man. What's cracking? Shouts to the whole Cali. Danny, what's up? Talk hey, to me. What's up, man? Hey, man, I'm coming on this bank thing, man. Like, I heard X yesterday saying that he didn't think uh, Banks was lyrical, and this is how I process it, man. Look, mm -hmm. I don't think X really listened. Like, X got on the song with Touch It with Lloyd Banks, and Lloyd Banks watched it. Woo! You got a point there, because I was going to bring that up, too. I'm glad you brought that up. You got a point there. Talk about it. He said a tweet that saying that he asked him to go to the studio. He didn't go, so I think that's just salty about that. Yes. He's throwing shit like, Lloyd Banks, nah, don't bring me. Like, you haven't probably heard Lloyd Banks in a minute. You know what I mean? His name. Facts. So I think X is And look, I think X listened to Banks. Like, you know, he had his mixtape run. Everybody talks about the victory, all this money in the bank. But after Banks dropped... Return of the P.O.K. and he went to V5 before he dropped HF2. That's what's getting him his credit for being lyrical, not his old stuff. Then he dropped freaking um, FNO with DJ Drama, the two of them. He dropped Halloween Havoc 2, Halloween Havoc 3. He dropped V6. Mm. Yo, Danny, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You, you sound like a true Lloyd Banks fan. Yeah, that's my guy right now. Yeah, salute. Yeah. I want to salute you. But but I, I want to salute you because your energy is good. Energy is very important. You didn't call mad at DMX. You called stating the facts. And I want to salute you, man. Thanks for calling, family. Yeah, salute, man. All right? Man. One. All right. Yo, yo, mute your audio. Anytime you call MREC TV, have your audio muted, fam. All right. I got I to gotta go to the next call because you, you, it's echoing, fam. Just mute your computer. All right. Yo. Hello? What's going on, fam? Keep it clean. State your name and where you calling from. I'm calling from Chicago. This is a big game ever. And what I wanted to say was, uh -huh. what if DMX was just stating that I'm all the time, 50 top rappers, when Lloyd Banks qualifies, we do go back to Cavs and... Mm, see, that's another conversation. But, but, Lloyd Banks do got a clap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lloyd Banks do got a classic album on his belt. That Hunger for More first album is a classic. And he's on G Unit album. I would say it's close to a classic, too. So, you know, you know, Lloyd Banks. Yeah. Gotta be in that conversation of, of top 50 rappers, greatest top 50 rappers. Gotta be in that conversation just because yeah. he's a part of um classic projects. He got one of his okay. own. What, what about the, yeah, what about yeah. The special ads and all of those guys, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta really evaluate like where we rank the Jizzers and, the, and everybody when it comes I mean, to the when it comes to top 50. And I love Banks Cole Cole. All right, let's do this. I'm 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 gonna make it easy for you. A lot of people that we love, I mean, and, and salute to Jizza. I love the whole Woo. They got classic albums, so they gotta go in that conversation. And this is my take. You could be lyrical all day, but if you ain't got one classic album, you can't go in that conversation of greatest MCs. We gonna do that. This is what MREC is implementing. Cause a lot of niggas stop rapping. 
for a long time. You got niggas who still in that conversation and these niggas ain't been rapping for 20 years, ain't dropped a project in 20 years. We got to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you cheating the people that's really working hard. And Banks put out a lot of music. We don't, we, we're not just talking about albums. When it comes to them mixtapes, he probably got like what, 15 mixtapes? You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna count all them G Unit mixtapes. You feel me? So, so you know, it, it's see. I'm gonna be honest with you. With this hip hop conversation, a lot of people don't need to be involved in it because they don't really know the criteria that you're gonna have to. You know, put on the table to qualify people as, yo, he got to be in that top 50. You understand what I'm saying? So with, with me, with this hip hop thing, I'm serious with this. And a lot of people need to just really just listen and learn. Because it, it when it comes to this top 50 rappers or, or, or MCs, we not just judging them off the bars. Yeah, of course, the bars, but you got to have a classic album. If you got a nasty album. You got to get out that conversation. You dig what I'm saying? So you just you just a dope lyricist. You can't you, you, you're not amongst the elite because to be amongst the elite, you got to have dope lyrics as well as a classic. That's what we doing over here at MREC TV. And I appreciate you calling family. You know what I'm saying? Salute. Thank you, my brother. Shouts to the whole Chicago. Peace. See, that's the thing, too. And, and, and this is my term. You know, everybody be talking about we got to give, you know, people their flowers while they still alive. Flowers die. We give kings their crowns. That's how I'm moving at MREC TV. Flowers die. We got to give kings their crowns. That's how we doing, and that's my loop. Niggas always still on my loops. They stole my versus loop. I was doing that four years ago. I'm back on my, my BS right now. And a lot of these niggas' numbers is fake. You know what I'm saying? This pandemic hit, you see everybody from the top so-called podcasts and interviewers and these top big brands, they numbers is trash right now. You know why? That's the real numbers. They numbers always been trash, and my joints been up. Look at the numbers, and you gonna see who's who. We got almost like 500 in the room, just off the cuff. Smash that like button. Pardon me, y'all. I know I missed some calls, but I got to talk my talk. You know what I mean? Because it's, you know, any nigga that's talking crazy on my name because I'm spit, spitting the truth, it's okay. It's a green light on you, homie. Few niggas, you know, it's a green light on you. That's all. Like, you know, the homies done call me up. Yo, Rick, yo, niggas talking crazy on YouTube, da, da, da. I said, nah, fall back. You know what? Never mind. Green light on everybody. Anybody talk crazy on MREC, MREC TV, green light. I don't, you know, we ain't, we ain't playing. We're not playing with this. Green light. Just know that. Part itself. If I miss your call, call me. But right now, let me get to the people that's just now coming in the room that's out the loop. And um, I'm going to salute everybody dropping a super chat. Hold on. Let me get to this phone. Yo. Yo, peace, how you doing, man? I'm calling from Toronto. Oh, salute. Shouts to the whole Toronto. What's your name, fam? No joke, man. No doubt. Thanks for calling, fam. No no cursing, man. Um, speak on this oh, situation. I appreciate everything you've been doing. Oh, no doubt. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? That you tuning in to me. Um, how you feel about this whole situation with Lloyd Banks and DMX? Man, I just feel like Lloyd Banks still hasn't had a chance to really put himself out there, he's still a great artist, a great lyricist, so we'll never ever, you know, discredit that. I feel like what DMX was saying is just impactful to some people, it may be impactful, and to others it may not be, so it's based on opinion, you know, we all have our own top 10 list, we all like our own MCs for our own mm -hmm. specific reasons, so maybe it's just not hidden with X, but I know that Boy Banks hits a lot of people, especially when they came out during that mixtape era, and coming out with G-Unit and just killing it. So, Lloyd Banks definitely has a place in the culture and is still very important to the culture, definitely. No doubt, no doubt. But I'm going to say this, because I don't know if you're in the loop, but Lloyd Banks put out there on a tweet, like maybe less than two hours ago, he said the reason why DMX saying what he's saying is because he reached out to um, Lloyd Banks to come to the studio and Lloyd Banks ain't pull up. So... What's up? Yeah, definitely, then that, that could be That's a personal hate. reason. You know how it goes, too, man. 
Yeah. Um, you know how it goes in the time of trolling too, so it could be an opportunity for Banks to actually come out and kill it because I know that he's coming back with a runner. You know, he got that new song on Vado. Oh, nah, Lloyd Banks been dropping heat lately. I ain't gonna front. So this is yeah. gonna give Lloyd Banks more fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all it is. Platform. You know, we're in a free time. You know what I mean? Now, you don't got the unity. You gotta hold it down himself. So only time will tell Lloyd Banks can be the greatest. It's just about putting it out there and just not stopping. Don't stop. I know that you went through a few family situations as well. So sometimes... We'll yeah, you can never stop. Regardless of what. I'm, uh, I, yeah. I agree with you. Like, we all go through stuff. But when it comes to this um this game, the game don't stop for nobody. Yeah, cause that's, that's just, he's king, right? So that's pretty much what it is, man. Yeah. So for that man, DMX is well meant to see him come back after his situation and things like that. It's just a real good time in hip hop for us to get back to that real culture, just straight to the bars. You know what I mean? No like, doubt. No gimmicks, no bullshit. No doubt. Facts. Thanks for calling, family. I yeah, appreciate man. you. I appreciate you, man. One love. One love. And shouts to everybody saying, yo, this platform is dope. This platform is hard. I want to salute y'all. Thank you. Right now, what I need from y'all in the chat room, just put this platform is hard. You know what I mean? Or, or matter of fact, just put the um the Armstrong up, the emojis. You know what I mean? The Armstrong. If you if you rocking with this platform, put the Armstrong up. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we keep it official over here. Hold on, let me get to these callers. Yo, mute your audio, fam. Hello? Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a female. State your name. Where you calling from? Yeah. It's Leo. I'm from Queens, New York. You calling from where? Queens, New York. Oh, shouts to the whole Queens. Talk to me. Okay, I'm live right now. I just muted my computer. Listen, I see a lot of men calling up, so I just had to call up real quick. Look. No cursing, though. When you come to the... No cursing, though, yeah, all right? Yeah, I know. All right. Thank you. When you come to the block, mm -hmm. like say somebody just moved on the block or whatever, it's like uh, an OG on there mm -hmm. that's killing it. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's known for, I'm going to be careful with my word, and so he's known for doing his thing. You talking about Lloyd Banks? Then so and so want to so challenge you. Whether the dude could fight or not, they just challenge you. This mm. is what hip hop is. Mm -hmm. so talk your talk. Feel like the me? Now I said talk your talk. You're right. Yeah, I just feel like the situation with X is no matter what, that's still our legend. I see hip hop like a cookout. So mm. that's like, it's a cookout. Like what? Uncle wanna battle cousin. What up? Like, let's see. I mean, both of them is dope. I, I like your assessment. I like your assessment. Salute. What's your name again? Mm. Seem like you on your hip hop ish. Seem like you know your hip hop ish. Who's your top five, real quick? Who's your top five MCs, real quick? Um. Okay, I love Fifty. Tupac mm -hmm. is number one up there. I love Fifty. Um. Mm -hmm. Kendrick's up there too. Mm -hmm. I don't really got a long list because I don't feel like there's a lot of people out there. Too. That's three. Mm -hmm. Give me two more. That's three. Rock Give me two him. more. Rock him and one more. One more. Dang, you stretched it out. It ain't even like that many out there. Ooh, <laughs> damn, you harsh. It's not that I mean, you being from Queens, you mean to tell me Nas ain't on your on your t on your list on top of your list? I don't want nobody attacking me. You know, my nobody ain't gonna attack you. You you got your own opinion. Right. You know what? I'm gonna throw Prodigy up there. Then. Prodigy. Woo! I ain't mad at you because at one time Prodigy was 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 close with Nas, going neck to neck. So. I, I ain't mad at you. Rest in peace to Prodigy. That's my man, they're too. Both dope. Now, they're both dope. But see, they the both dope. The situation with today is why people are getting sensitive is because we don't have that many dope people out. So we look like, oh, you attacking? No, it's just like Nas attacked. Um, I mean, not Nas, but like Prodigy and Nas, whatever. He had a situation of 50 Cent and Jive, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's normal. All you got to do now is just show us. Come on, we all battling on live. What's up? Get on live, whatever the case may be, show us who's going to win it. He said you're not that. He know you that, though. Mm. He's trying to challenge mm. So that's yeah, I see it. I hear that. I appreciate you calling. Let them know who you be again and where you calling from. I'm Leo from Queens. Um, I'm, I don't want to put too much up there. I just want to share the word. That's what's most important, but... Yeah. I appreciate you calling. Stay tapped in with me. Anytime I go live, make sure you tap in. It's good to hear a good female voice. You got a nice voice too. A lot of dudes in the room feeling you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, 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 they feel like 
she got a good voice. Hopefully the the the, the face matched the voice. You know what I'm saying? So you know they feeling yeah, you right I'm now. The one in the green. I was in the chat going off a little. I'm glad I called because like you know I wanted to just talk to you real quick. I felt like you was getting a little spicy. I was getting spicy. Why? Why you say that? A little spicy on X. Like just wait a minute. No, 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 no. I think X. Be, you know, I'm going to be honest, X be hating. He hated on Drake, too. You know what I mean? I'm going to call it down the middle. You know what I'm saying? I rocks with DMX. Me and DMX, you know, I opened up for DMX. And at the same time, when I met DMX, he was like, yo, I rock with you, homie. You look niggas dead in their eyes. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? He was going off on the Hot 97 security and all that. I, I came up to Hot 97 right before I did this uh, DVD called Outside of Hot 97 and DMX. You know, saluted me because I was just, you know, I was grilling him, and and he and me and him caught eye contact, and then he came up to me. He like, I like your style, homie. You look niggas in the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, nah, ain't no hate. It's never no hate. You dead? But I call it down the middle though. I call it down the middle though. Yeah, he a real one. I, I give him that. Definitely a real one. And he got classics. X is a legend. Let's not get it twisted. Probably one of the best performers. Got. Probably some of the, you know, some of the most incredible classic anthems. He got anthems. Let's, but yeah. bar for bar, he ain't going to go toe for toe. He can't go toe to toe with um, Lloyd Banks. Bar for bar, he can't. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. That's a different kind yeah. of beast. He, he don't want, them, he don't want that smoke. He don't want that? He don't want that smoke. It'll get ugly. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see it too. I mean, you know, maybe X will get the best of them. Who knows? But from what I, from my view, nah, Banks got that. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you calling. All right? All right. All right. All right. Much love. Peace. Yeah, man. Females, y'all can call up too, man. I appreciate her calling, man. It, it adds a different tone to the show. I'm not doing the unknown person. This unknown person keep calling. Unblock your number. If you are M Rec, we not we we not doing that. If you are M Rec subscriber, you know better than that. We don't do those block calls. Yo, we got almost seven hundred people in the room. Pardon me, pardon self. Yo, state your name. Where you calling from? No cursing. It's fifty call five. I'm calling from Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. Shouts to the whole B more in Maryland, man. Talk to me, man. How you feel about this uh, Lloyd Banks and DMX situation? What we doing? Honestly, man. I mean, we can all say we, we know we know X, X is a great and he, and he does what he does artist wise. But mm. I agree with you as far as Lloyd, man. And Lloyd, Lloyd's a different type of beast. I mean, mm -hmm. he went on that whole he went on that whole mixtape run, you know. And uh, he, he's, he's proven that he, he's bar heavy. X is one of them. I know earlier you talking about uh, being lyrical and all that. I know X, he can get in that lyrical bag, you know. He's done the poetry thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You know, he can go there sometimes. But but Lloyd, he's tripping on the Lloyd tip, though. You know what I mean? Lloyd's a beast. No beast doubt. I appreciate your assessment, fam. I'm going to get to the next caller, all right? No doubt. Thanks. Uh -huh. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get to everybody. I got to shout out my sponsors. Shout out Bobby Boucher. Go check his video out. RIP again on MREC TV. You see the links and go to YouTube. Shout out to my other sponsors. Oh, hold on, fam. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, fam. I'm trying to get to the speakerphone. Hold on a second. Damn. What's going on? Yo, fam, call me back. Call me back. All right. Let me shout out my sponsors real quick, man. Shout out Bobby Boucher. He got the RIP again video. Um, hold on. Hold on, fam. Let me get these um sponsors in real quick. Hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Let me get you on speaker, man. Why this journey? Why this journey? Okay. Hold on one second. Shout out to all my sponsors. We got to go into this video that's on YouTube. We got to go check that out. Right? It's called... um. Trauma Freestyle by Duffel Bag Dollars and Young God. Shout to the whole Renegade Revolt. They sponsor this joint. Shouts to um, 9-7 Entertainment. They got the movie Rainer. 
So, and shouts to Bobby Boucher again. He got the RP again video. He went from MREC TV to BET. His video is playing on BET. His views went from 10K to 30K from being on MREC TV. He's shaking. So, anybody who want to lock in for business with MREC, lock in with me because this is where it's at. You know what I mean? You get traction to your links, get traction to your music, get traction to your business. Because I got a real cult following. All right? When I stamp something, they rock on me. Smash that like button. Hold on. Let me get to these phone calls. Pardon self, man. I had to get to these sponsors. Hold on. Yo, oh, yo, fam, state your name. Where you calling from? My name is Giovanni. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm in Phoenix. I'm on my way back to New York. Okay. Just check out your show, man. And DMX. No cursing, though, fam. No cursing. Second. No cursing. No, no cursing. Yeah. I met D Mac a minute ago when Jay Z came out with a hard knock life. I was in DC mm -hmm. when they came through. When they came through, he was at a bookstore. I don't know why, he was at a bookstore. Mm -hmm. And I met, I was walking in the bookstore to shake Jay's hand because I know Jay as well. Mm -hmm. And basically, I'm Aaron Hall's brother, man. Are you Aaron Hall's brother? Yeah, I'm Aaron Hall's brother for real, for real. Blood brother. So. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what's your name, fam? Giovanni, yo, um, I need you to text my line because I'm going to need to build with you because I need you and Aaron Hall on my show, man. So I'm going to need you to text text me, text this number and say, yo, this Giovanni Aaron Hall brother so I can lock you in because so many um numbers is popping up on this phone. I, I ain't going to know who's who. But go ahead, speak your piece. Right. Yeah, so I go to the store to meet Jay-Z, you know, mm -hmm. I love the hard like white. Mm -hmm. So when I walk in, DMX is at the door. I don't know why. He wasn't playing security, but he was just there at the door. Mm. So, first of all, I noticed that, yo, that dude is real short, man. That dude is not as tall as he look on TV. That dude is short. Fact. So, I'm walking mm -hmm. in, and I'm like, you know, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. I'm from Queens. Mm -hmm. I'm from Queens for real. Mm -hmm. I was out there with Cass, with Cream, with Prince, and the whole nine. You feel me? So, I was out there. So, when I seen DMX mm -hmm. walking in the store, and I'm like, you know, we just look at each other. And as mm -hmm. we look at each other, you got his eyes on me. And you know, if you know any of my queens, if, it, if a brother's looking at you, you look at that brother, man. Facts. Nah, but you know what's crazy? I just spoke of a situation that happened with me and DMX that's real similar. Me and him was, was grilling each other. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. So, that, so, no, I, that. so I know what you're saying is. So I know what you're saying got some truth to it, but yeah, finish your story because I got to get to all the callers, family. Yeah. Yeah, that's there, most there. So long story short, I look at the dude, he look at me, and he give me a pound. I give him a pound. He said, yo, you, so you like the song? I said, I love Hard Knock Life, man. He said, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, like, for real, whatever you do, keep, keep supporting us, man. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, DMX, me and him ran around a little bit, and, you know, in a day. We ran around the same circles. So long story short, as far as Boyd Banks, I love his flow. I love his lyrics. I love his style. But I know the history with DMX. And because I know the history with DMX, I got to be a supporter of his work, man. Got it's you. Not like, you know, it's not like he just knows how to rhyme. DMX put that work in. DMX no doubt. That, man. No, I got you, you know, fam. So, so when, you know, when you know brothers struggle... You can't front like, oh, he didn't, he didn't rhyme ABC the right way. No, I know it's struggle, man. That's, Got you. working hard. Y'all appreciate, like. appreciate you calling, fam. Text me, you, you know, your name and all that so I know it's you. And I and I hit you later so we can build. All right, we'll do, man. All right, we'll peace. Do. Yo, state your name where you calling from. Hello? Hey, what, what's going on, family? Hold on, let me, let me get you on speaker, man. This line is crazy. I'm trying to get to the uh, speaker button. Hold on. One second, family. Uh, damn. Hold on a second. Damn, why is it not letting me get to this? I hate this shit. Are you there, fam? All right, hold on, fam. All right. They just keep calling. I'm trying to get to the speaker phone. Damn. Sometimes this app be bugging. What's your name, though, fam? Hold on. What's your name? Chrome Beats. Chrome Beats. 
I'm trying to get you on the speaker, man. Hold on, Chrome. No joint. Damn. They calling like crazy, and it's not letting me get to the home screen. What's going on? All right, hold on. I think I know how to get to it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. I got it. I got it. There we go. Yo. What's going on, family? Keep what's going on, family. Keep it clean. State your name and where you calling from. It's Crown B, Hartford, Connecticut. Salute. Salute, family. Talk to me. Hey yo, I, I look at it like this. You know, I, I agree with you, Lloyd. Lloyd Banks. You know, DMX. DMX ain't got nothing on Banks. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. on, on top of that, like you know, X. He talking about he want to see Jay on the verses, but. He can't even he can't even deal with Jay hit for hit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, so think about that. You know what I mean? Nah, I appreciate you calling, man. You got a point. Jay got a lot. Jay catalog is crazy. DMX, his early catalog was crazy, but I ain't gonna front. It fell off real quick. Like when it got to that like that fourth album, it started getting spooky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gonna keep it official. <laughs> we gonna keep it official. <laughs> That's the thing that people don't like about me. I keep it too official. They be mad like, that nigga is telling the truth, but F that, I'm a DMX fan. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate that. No doubt. No doubt, fam. Thanks for calling. Salute. Yeah. Niggas be mad at me because I tell the truth. Hold on. The truth hurts. Hold on, let me, let me get it. Yo? Yo? <laughs> Yep, it's MREC TV. You already know. Hold on. Hold on, being that you said that. You know the MREC room etiquette? Smash that like button. State your name. Keep it clean. State your name and let them know where you calling from, fam. Talk to me. Let's get let's get it. Uh, Talk to me. Why he coming from a true spot when Lloyd Banks just disposed him as a hater? Talk to me. Nah, it, 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 that's part of it. Like, that's politics getting money working together. Huh? But when it, when it, that's, that's politics. That's all that politics. That's politics? Like, that's a time. I want you to do a song. I want you to do a song with me so we both can get out. That's all that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, as far as the lyricists, I think Epps talking about dudes that have, it's one thing they have punchlines and metaphors, but Banks ain't got a slip in, man. You said Banks ain't got a what? Oh no, nah, he, he definitely ain't got the hits DMX got. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you you, you got, right. Like DMX got them songs that when you when you in that song, you thinking DMX got that. You know what I'm saying? He got that. Yeah. X got that. Like, oh yeah, that was hot. That was a hot line. That yeah, was, but 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 see, that's the thing. The conversation with him and Fat Man Scoop was about bars. You understand what I'm saying? Lyricism and X. You know, when Lloyd Banks' name got mentioned by Fat Man Scoop, X was acting like Lloyd Banks ain't in lyricist. Lloyd Banks? Lyricist? Like, come on, fam. You wildin'. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you... He ain't got no slipping. Nah, he... I'ma be honest. Lloyd Banks ain't got a slipping. He ain't got to get at me, dog. Lloyd Banks ain't got a lot of DMX anthems. It's, it's a fact. But DMX ain't got them Lloyd Banks bars either. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Yo, salute to, hold on, salute to one, hold on one second, fam, salute to one of my sponsors in the room, Renegade Revolver, that was, those are my homies, and that, they got a fire video to that trauma, to that Meek Mill trauma beat, uh, shouts to Duffel Bag Dollars and Young Guard, go check that out, I've been promoting that on my last few uploads, that joint is fire, them boys going in, you know what I'm saying, shouts to Renegade Revolver, they got the uh, merch and they got the uh, the label and everything popping. Hold on. Yo, yo, mute, mute your audio, fam. Yo. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Yo, keep it clean. Keep it clean, fam. Yo, hold on. Hold on one second. Renegade Revolver. Um, I need y'all to um call up, but I ain't gonna. I don't know what's your number. Let me know what number y'all gonna call up from. I need, that's one of my sponsors. I definitely need to speak to him because they definitely dropping bread at MREC TV. I respect the money. But um, state your name and where you calling from, fam. Yeah, this is Turk Links, man. 
Okay. Where you calling from? I'm calling from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Okay. Shouts to the whole Allentown and, P and the whole PA. Talk to me, man. What's going on, man? I see a lot of people are riled up about what X said about uh, banks. I don't think X made a, uh, a wrong statement, though, man, because if we're talking lyricism, we're not talking punchlines. We're talking lyricism. Like black dog lyricism, most deaf lyricism. I'm with you. Lloyd Banks doesn't fall into that category. Nah, Lloyd Banks is lyricism, fam. You can't say that. Like, I, I don't even understand how people be saying that. Like, Lloyd Banks, it, it's songs that Lloyd Banks is just giving it up with the bars, not even hitting niggas with punchlines. And that's the thing. If is y'all really listening to Lloyd Banks, you can't make those type of statements because I done heard Banks go crazy on songs. I heard Banks, I heard Banks go crazy too, but the nigga is a punchline rapper. He is. He's the punchline king. But let's not act like Lloyd Banks. He got some classy, he got some classic bangers too. Okay, Scoop Sco Scoop also mentioned another punchline rapper, Fred the Godson. So you mean to tell me Fred the Godson is not a lyricist either? He's a, he's a punchline rapper. But he's a lyricist he's too. A he he yo, he be playing off words crazy. That's that's the thing what I'm saying. Same thing with Lloyd Banks. He knows how to flip shit. He knows how yeah. to flip words. He's a he he flips the hell out. He knows how to flip them words crazy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not calling that lyricism, though. That's the thing, is. See, that's the thing. No, lyrics, to me, is when you make people say, oh, that line was crazy. You mean to tell me Lloyd Banks did that numerous times? You dig what I'm saying? That's what lyricism is. Lyricism is boss. And what do you think these battle rappers do? They do punch lines all day. True. So you mean to tell me they, 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 they not lyrical? So the battle rappers is not lyrical, and they all they do is punch lines. Talk to me. Uh, I want to see, because when you're talking battle rap world, and you're going to talk lyricism, then you're going to go to, like, Loaded Lux, A-Verb, B-Dot. Do like do, do, those, those are lyricists. All them Loaded Lux. All them dudes you hey, name. Hey, 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 since we're talking about the battle rap, you know, it says, uh, it says they attributes, and a lot of they attributes never say lyricism. Well, yeah, <laughs> nah, I done heard, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fam. I done heard Beezy, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, let me, fam, fam, let me, let me respond. I done heard Beasley. I done heard Beasley do mad announcements, and I don't even watch the battles heavy like that, but I done heard him do mad announcements when he had say, lyrical monster, or such and such lyrical, come on, fam, let's not do that, come on, fam. Hold on, hold on. You got to stop there. I'm going to say this. I'm glad you mentioned Tay Rock. Tay Rock is a monster and he a lyricist. And my man Sue Surf. I rocks with those two. Them niggas is lyricists and they beasts. And they keep it street. That's the type of battle raps that I rock with. Like, you know what I mean? For us, like, they, those are my guys. You can't even say them niggas is not lyricists. Oh, fault, fault. Th thank you. you, know you, you know now, now we talking. Hold on, what's your, hold on, fam. What's your name again? What's your name again? Appreciate that. Thank you. You giving me my crown. You giving you giving the king his crown. Cause you know the the thing with the flowers and no disrespect to nobody that use that terminology is cool, but flowers die. You dig what I'm saying? Legends never die. You feel me? And I and I said and I and I said this earlier. I said this earlier, we got to give kings they crowns because flowers die. So that's, so when you rock with MREC TV, you know that's my terminology. You know what I mean? And I appreciate you giving me my crown. You feel me, king? So another king saluting another king. Salute, king. I want to say salute to you, king. You know what I mean? Salute, salute. Salute, king. Thanks for calling, man. I got so many people calling up. But make sure you tap in with me again, family. You heard me? You already know. All right. Peace.
Call up again. Oh, shouts to um the homie D with the fifty dollar cash app. I appreciate that. Shouts to everybody in the super chat showing that love. Yo, mute your audio, fam. Hold on one second. Let me open this window. Got hot. Mm, this hip hop thing. This is what I do. You, you heard the homie, the king that was on the last call. He said, M-Reg, you nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's what real niggas do. You know, go get that respect my handle on every platform and that catch a lick. Niggas can't mess with me on them bangers. All those bars. But talk to me, fam. How you feel about this DMX Lloyd Banks situation? Let's get it. Yeah, somebody, somebody sent me the link to this in uh, one of my social uh, media inbox, man. It's word one. I'm DMX artist on Bloodline. Man. Oh, word? Okay, okay. Talk to me. You gonna, you gonna keep it official or you gonna be biased? Nah, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. At the end of the day, man. Okay. At the end of the day, Keep it clean though. Keep it clean though. Keep it clean, cause I can't do the curses. YouTube, you know, they got a lot of censorship now. But God, speak your peace, fan. No, we're good. You know, at the end of the day, regardless of, regardless of how people feel about you know one artist versus another, or whatever the case may be, at the end of the day, man, the, the, the true winner is always gonna be the culture. That's a fact. I agree with you, King. You know Mm. It doesn't matter because they both left their legacies on the game. So anything that, else that's a fact. that is really just conversation. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's what this hip hop thing is about. That's how battles come up. Right. Because, you know, one dude will be like... And, battle, and, and, yeah. and, and you can't even use, you can't even talk, have a discussion about lyricists without, without battling coming into the conversation. That's a because fact. That's a fact. Most of us MCs got our start from battle. That's that's where the culture comes from. It comes from battling. That's Facts. Where it comes from. So people people who are watching this need to understand that. Yeah, X said what he said, mm -hmm. and that's his opinion. But that doesn't mean that he has a beef with Lloyd Banks. It doesn't mean that Lloyd Banks has a beef with. Nah, him. we never said also, beef. We never said beef. Also, on the, yeah. on, the on the flip side, though, now I'm just going over what I saw in a few of these comments. Okay. Also, on the flip side, you know what I'm saying? Just because Lloyd Banks responded with what he responded with mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily make it factual. Got you. You right. I've been rocking with X for almost a decade, and in all the time that I've known Dog, mm -hmm. I haven't known him to reach out to nobody but no features. Got Every you. Every feature this man has done so far since I've been rocking with him has been out of a mutual respect, or it was something that was talked about in conversation. Or now I know legends. I'm talking about legends bigger than DMX mm -hmm. who have said, "Yo, tell Dog get at us, man. We're trying to work on the record together, and I relay the message." And that's just like, nah, I ain't with him. Mm. That's just picky about who he rhyme with. Nah, I got you. So now, fam, hold on. Fam, hold on. Chances are he never reached out. Got you. Hold on, fam. I need to get your name. What's your name? I'm Word One. Word One. Okay, how long you been signed to DMX? I've been rocking with Bloodline since, since 2015. 2015. Okay. What's going on with you and your career? Mm. The, the, the year prison's done. You know, I was with him on his last tour, the, the 20th anniversary for the Dark and Hell is Hot, along with uh, my man One Shot Deal. Shout out to One Shot Deals. You know, um, the deal, the, you know, the deal just got in uh, this past year uh, with Def Jam. So, Bloodlines back with Def Jam. Yeah, I heard that. New, so, uh, congrats on that. So things, things are looking up. Thank okay. You, so it's, it's it's been a slow process, but uh, but you know, sometimes it's it's not about the the journey; it's about the end result. No doubt, fam. And and just know you live on MREC TV, one of the biggest platforms for hip hop. Like, I don't know if you've been in tune, but I've been running this street nah, thing. My first time. Oh, your first time. Oh, damn. Where, where you from? Where you from? I'm from New York. I'm from Harlem. Hold on. You from Harlem and this your first time on MREC TV? You never heard of ForbesDVD.com? Nah, I'll be mad. I'll be, oh, I'll be, damn, my nigga. I like, try to stay, yo, I try to stay off the social media. Nah, this ain't social media. We ran the streets with mixtapes, DVDs, and all that. Like, this is beyond. We done had the Forbes DVD, uh, and then the Gutter Music mixtapes and all that. You never heard those instrumentals? The it's, Gutter Music? I think I heard the Gutter. Yeah, I think it, I heard the it's Gutter Music. music. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's my voice. Yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's all under the same tree. 
You know what I mean? Gutter Music is the brand. Forbes DVD, then MREC TV, MREC the artist. So you need to lock in with me. You're getting a lot of promo right now. It's like over 700 people in the room. Let's lock in. You got a budget at Dev Jam. Let's break bread at MREC TV. That's what these artists do over here. So, you know, right now you're speaking up for DMX and you get to promote yourself. So, you know, let's break nah, bread. It's not, it's not really about speaking up for X, man. It's just, you know, it's just about making sure that people understand that, that this is for the culture, man. It's not, Definitely. It's not animosity driven. No, 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 no. We ain't say that. We just we talking about. No, no. We talking about the culture, but at the same time, we gotta call it for what it is. Because, all right, let's let's do this. Because I gotta put you in a hot seat. How you feel about Lloyd Banks? You think Lloyd, Lloyd Banks is a lyricist or not? Nah, I mean, I, in my my personal opinion, I feel like I feel like Lloyd Banks got boxed. Okay. But at the same time, you know, for people to say yo X don't stand a chance, boss. Okay, all right, let, 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 let's do this. Let's do this. I feel like ball for ball, X don't want that smoke with uh, Lloyd Banks. I'm keeping it real with you. I know that's your man and all that. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm I got to say this. Even, even if it was Eminem himself, we all know, I'm pretty sure the opinion on Eminem is unanimous. You know what I mean? The, the, that boy... Can rhyme his behind door, you know what I mean? like, nah, he can, but he can, he can. He can, he can but I don't, I don't know if I necessarily want to hear. It depending on what Eminem's spitting. You know what I mean? See, that's the difference too. You dig what I'm saying? Because sometimes Eminem, you know, he's lyrical, but he go so left with it that you'd be like, "All right, you got balls," but the content is like it's so left field. You'd be like, "Yo," you know what I mean? But we can never, we can never take away Eminem not being a monster lyricist. And shouts to Royce to Five Nine, he stayed locked into my platform. He reached out to me. He did. He, shout out to Royce. Shouts to Royce. He's a G. He reached out to me. and Said Mrec, keep crushing him. I rocks with your platform. So salute the Royce to Five Nine. Salute the Eminem. Yeah, but um, yo, fam, this is what we gonna do, man. No, we, we, as long as I've known him, he will never find himself in a situation where he'd be like, nah, I don't want to smoke. Nah, I, I, I give it to X. Say, Yo, I challenge X to a, uh, to a battle, X take it. I give it to X. He ain't running for no battle. That's a fact. Never. But, Never. I'm going to say this, though. X need to have somebody like me just to, to holler at him because I'm going to keep it real with him. And, and after, we had a conversation before and he saluted me for the way I broke stuff yeah. down. I have another conversation with X. X gonna be like, you know what, Rec? I ain't look at it like that, dog. You know what? I gotta go in the studio and, and go harder. Yo, you know what? I, I got a little lax. After I finish with X, X gonna turn back into that monster that he used to be. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. With you, I feel like that, to be honest with you, I feel like that time has come. I just need y'all to stay tuned for that. Okay. Like the time has come. Okay. He, he's there. Well, I, and and, and you, you, got me, you got me on record saying all right, no doubt. So state your name. Yo, you know what, fam? You know what you do, fam? Make sure you text me. And, and, and you know, text me your name so I can lock you in. We're gonna build behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Alright, thanks for calling. Salute. Peace. Alright, so that was the homie. I think his name is Bird One. Said he was DMX artist. Hello? Yep. What's going on, my man? What's going on? State your name, where you calling from? Keep it clean, man. What's going on? Shouts to the whole bay, man. Um, you gotta make it quick. I gotta get to a few more callers because I'm gonna get off this call. But um, speak your speak your mind. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to say I, I don't know if if DMX relapsed or what. But <laughs> to say that Lloyd Banks is the lyricist is ridiculous. That's like saying Jay the Kiss is the lyricist or Fabulous. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what what the criteria is, but mm -hmm. punchline. Are, are, are like the bread and butter of being a lyricist. So I don't know what Yo, say that about. again, fam. Say that again. Talk to him, please. The punchlines are the bread and butter of being a lyricist. Woo! Y'all remember Tupac? People said wasn't a good lyricist. Tupac was lyrical. Tupac was lyrical. Tupac was lyricist. He just wasn't a punchline lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's my point. Yeah. He was lyrical. He was lyrical. He just wasn't a punchline lyricist. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, he was a different kind of lyricist. Tupac is a type of uh, artist that you got to feel, but at the same time, he going to drop bars about substance. You just got to catch it. A lot of people, they don't deal with substance in real life, so that's that the stuff that Tupac be spitting be going over their head. A lot of your dudes is not even woke. So when Tupac spitting his bars, it's going over your head. That's why when, when dudes say Tupac is not a lyricist, I'm mean, be like, you wild. Like, how, how could you say that? I'm 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 with you on that. Now 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 look, see we gotta show the different variations. Now, if we going for like the slots of greatest rappers, Tupac is in that top five. But when you talking about top yeah, no, but no. What I'm saying is, if we talking about lyricists, then that's a different conversation. I'm with you on that. You feel me? That's a yeah. different kind of conversation. Yeah, well, I, think, I, I think there's different degrees. You got it, it, to, like the man. He's a rapper. You got to feel. He, 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 Tupac, you got to feel him. Facts. Feel those Yo, words. fam, what's your name, yeah. fam? Fam, what's your name? You, my you. Name was a king. My name was a king, bro. A king. A king. And hey, where you from? I got to say, I got to say one more thing. I, I called you up on the RZA. The oh yeah, salute, salute, salute. Hey, hey, I, I, I made the wrong choice, man. I should have chose Rizzo. Yo, but nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna tell you what happened, Akeem. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Premier was nervous. He said it. He played the wrong okay. records at the wrong time. His timing was off. Let's let's not. I mean, Rizzo came with the smoke. Rizzo won that hands down. Rizzo won that hands down. Killed yeah, yeah. But Premier was like, he didn't come for the battle. Premier was trying to just be friends. RZA came with the smoke off the rip. RZA sound was all, RZA sound was all compromised and all that. Sound was jacked up and he still smoked Premier. And Premier, my man, I'm gonna just keep it official. Premier is my man. Like, that's my guy. I went on tour with him and all that. You feel me? When, when Premier started playing Christina Aguilera, he threw in the white towel right then and there. Man. Uh, those after hours moment after the 20 phones were done, he started really flipping. A true, a true battle, a true battle rapper producer knows the battle ain't over till the motherfucking plug. Excuse me, till the till the plug is out the wall. Facts, man. Facts. But uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling, Akeem. Yeah. All right. Peace. Salute. See, I like his vibe. Akeem is on that. We on the same frequency. Everybody don't get this hip hop thing. I'm sorry. Yo, hello. Yo, yo. What's happening? Yeah. State your name where you calling from. No cursing. Keep it clean, fam. Please. Oh, no, oh, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I'm calling from Philly, man. It's Omni 8, man. I just wanted to chime in on the uh, situation. Uh, Tupac Murder Mystery. Okay. Yeah, Tupac Murder Mystery. Yeah, that's the one that I'm going to be talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
I got you. Appreciate you All calling, right. fam. Good looking out. Yeah. All right, no doubt, fam. No doubt. Love. Salute. Salute. I'm waiting for my sponsor to call up. Call me up right now, fam. YB Hood, call me up right now. Hold on, y'all. Fall back. Let me let me let me get my sponsor. I think there you go. Yo, yo, mute your audio, YB. Mute your audio, YB. Yeah, hold, hold on, YB. Yo. Hold on one second. Yo, YB. What's good, Emre? What's going on? Salute, family. First and foremost, hold on. Let me introduce you pop properly. This the homie YB Hood, right? From Renegade Revolver. The homie reached out when I put up the Starain interview. He saw Starain with his hat on. You know what I'm saying? Starain, you know, he did the interview with me speaking on a whole Biggie beef and all that. And I'm going to salute YB because he's a G. He saw me promoting his brand. He ain't waste no time and said, yo, m -Rec, good looking on the promo. I'm trying to do business with you. And we got YB Hood on the phone. If you saw that video with his homies, Duffel Bag Dollars and the homie Young God off that Trauma Freestyle, that's what he's sponsoring. Those are his artists. And he's on the phone right now. He's a G. YB, talk to me. What's happening? What's good? Man, how you doing? How you doing today? I'm man. I'm good, family. Where you from, man? Yeah, I'm from Bushwick, New York, man. Oh, you from B... You from BK Bushwick? Salute, fam. Oh, man, you already know. No doubt. They nice, son. I like I like Duffel Bag Dollars and a, and and a, um yeah. homie Young God. I want to say this though. You see your views went up crazy, right? Your subscribers, all that. Your likes. Talk, tell the people how that MREC promo got you shaking. Talk to the people. Yeah, we already were shaking. We just needed you. Mm -hmm. You already know. Mm -hmm. That's what that hey, buzz man. like? What that buzz like? What the streets talking about? The streets. I know. I know. Niggas called your phone. Been buzzing. Been buzzing now. Everything is just crazy now. Since we on Embrek. Mm -hmm. right. It's happening faster than what we expected. That's all it was. But this an echo from people not investing into themselves. Mmm. Talk to him, YB. I invest into my artists. Yo. It's COVID. It's COVID nineteen. Gonna slow down everything. Mmm. Everything is gonna slow down. Facts. I've been saying that. Every time you see Renegade, we come in full force. We come in with merch. We come in with music. We write movie scripts. We do all Ooh. that. Make, we yo. Have, and we need you on the next, we need you on the next album, boy. Oh, ain't about nothing. We're going to gonna work out all that business and send me some merch. I'm going to rock your merch just because. A lot of niggas be trying to... A lot of niggas be trying to... It's Oh, it's love. Look, look, listen, a lot of niggas be trying to send me merch, and I'm like, how you trying to send me merch? You ain't spend no money with me. I got my own merch. Like, you did it right. That's why I'm locked in with you. Anybody who came at me right with the business, y'all forever locked in with me. We gonna do business forever, and I'm gonna give you extra looks. I go extra hard with the promo. You gonna get more bang for your buck over here at MREC TV. You know what I mean? You locked in right. You locked in right, so I wanna salute you. Let them know that uh, where they can check that video at. Yo, you can go to YouTube right now, man. Type in Duffel Bag Dollars featuring Young God Trauma Freestyle Video. Or you could go to that pit and download the um the compilation album Brim Game, baby. We already up, son. We got about, about 15 streams, 15 K on streams right now. So mm. just climbing as we go. The video just climbing as we go. We just hit and wreck off with the junk and wreck the doing what he do. It comes out to everybody. You need to invest in yourself. Because if you can't invest in yourself, it ain't nobody going to invest in you. The labels ain't going to come. Mm. The labels ain't going to invest in you because they ain't going to see them numbers. That's a problem, people. people Talk don't know about it. Facts, my brother. Yo, it's people in the comments agreeing with you. So right now, you you, you taking people to church right now. You spitting the gospel yeah. right now. So I want to salute you. Exactly. 
Facts. Yo, we're going to do an um, a interview too. We're going to work out the business for that. But I'm glad I was able to get you on the live. I've been shouting you out too. I don't know if you was watching, but I've been shouting you out. Okay. Okay. What's his name? Shouts to him. What's his name? Yo, shouts to Maserati D, aka Brimzo D. You heard? He Salute to him. Street, no doubt. Yo, Young B. Now, I mean YB. Thanks for calling. YB Hood. Thanks for calling. And um, yo, we gonna build. We gonna build behind the scene. I got your numbers. I got your number now. So I'm. 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 I'm, I'm yeah. All right, let's let's lock in. Let's let's keep the business flowing. I got you. I'm gonna keep you hot. Yo, all day, Eric. Yo, thank you for the promo. You welcome, fam. Thank you for the business. No doubt, family. Appreciate you. Love. Yo, enjoy your day, Eric. I'm gonna hit you too. About the, um, about the all right, peace and blessing, my brother. Salute. Yo, salute, Eric. Salute. Yeah, man. That's that's one of the sponsors. They real happy with their promo and they got some heat too. Oh, state your name. Where you calling from? We're going to get back to this Lloyd Banks and um, DMX situation. Yo? Yo, this is Debo from Staten Island. Debo, what's up? That's the homie. That's the, I, I spoke to you like two times before, right? Yeah, a while back. Yeah, Debo, you had a wild assessment. I, I, I rocks with you. Talk to me, Debo. What's up? I'm just telling, man. Okay, how you feel about this DMX Lloyd Banks situation, man? Talk to me. Get that water boiling. I like that. D Debo, you always come with that lingo, that good lingo. Salute. You you a G for real. You always got that good lingo. That's my guy right here. I know niggas be jack I know niggas be jacking your lingo too. You gotta be careful out here. You know what I mean? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? When you creative, there's more where that came from. Of course. In the world with that. Facts. Facts. Nah, facts. But niggas out here is nasty. See, my thing, look, 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 Debo, my thing is, if you gonna jack it, at least salute. I tell niggas, man, just just salute. You know what I mean? If if, if you see me come with a loop and you wanna use it, just salute. To be like, yo, like say for instance, right? I wanna, you know, use that lingo. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'll be like, yo, I'm just trying to keep the water boiling. Shout to my man Debo from Staten Island. That's that's real easy. Why niggas don't do that? You feel me? Exactly. So, it's very important to be creative so dudes can be like, you know what? He said that. Salute to him. Let's come with something else. E exactly. But be a straight up biter and don't pay homage. That's when I have an issue with you. Just see? I'm, I'm the same way. So, we on the see. I knew me and you was on the same frequency. You know what I'm saying? Always. Salute, Always. my brother. You know how we do. No. You already know how we do. You know what I'm saying? So leave him with something, Debo. Leave him with some good lingo or leave him with, you know, something you want to say about this Lloyd Banks and DMX situation to close it out. Leave him with something. All I'm going to say is this, man. When you're creative and dude's got an issue with you, don't take it as hate. Take it as love because when ain't nobody saying nothing about you, that means you got to step it up. But obviously he's paying attention. Mm -hmm. He know he's nice still, but that's just to get dudes snap out of it. He called them that because he wanted them to snap out of it. Mm -hmm. He want them to go harder. Mm -hmm. That's all. He you know, it's mm -hmm. like that. It's like friendly fire. That's what friendly fire is. You know, dudes mm -hmm. be like, yo, yo, pa, step it up, man. Stop playing. Got you. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> we had a reset. This is what the reset in this pandemic or whatever they want to call it. This is a reset for everybody. Yo. Be creative. Stop being a biter. And that's it. Facts. I done switched it up on niggas with the content. Still coming with the raw. But I ain't sending out friendly fire. I'm giving niggas rapid fire because I ain't let my foot off the fucking gas. And, and, and I had the curse right there. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these <laughs> niggas, they playing with me. These niggas try to jump in my lane. 
right? Look, they try to jump in my lane, act like they doing what I'm doing, looking crazy because they covering stuff that they ain't really supposed to cover, right? And their numbers is fake because look at everybody, right? I know you see it. Niggas' numbers look real spooky. You know what I'm saying? Ever since the pandemic came in here, the Breakfast Club numbers look spooky. Everybody numbers look spooky, but MREC numbers are still up. So talk to me. Who doing what? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been paying homage to you out of all these, you know, out of all these platforms. I was like, rep the only one that stayed in his lane. He wasn't biting off nobody. And he wasn't doing that scary spice shit. Because there's a lot of scary spice girl shit going on. Yep. Facts, family. Yeah. The corny, the corniness, this is what we want. We need the corniness to just disintegrate because dudes don't want to see this no more. I know I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't care for these corny lollipop motherfuckers. Word. My French. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I hopefully, hopefully YouTube let us rock, but it's all good. If it, if it don't, I could try to, you know, edit, you know what I'm saying? In a program, whatever, yeah. you know, but it's all good. I appreciate you calling, fam. Love. Word. Do your thing. Peace. Peace. So on that note, I'm going to end the show with the homie, Debo. Always a pleasure to talk to the homie. Drop gems. Always dropping that good lingo. I like when niggas come with that good lingo because I'm a lingo type of dude. You know you know how I give it up. Niggas bit my beef stew. Remember when everybody was saying, I'm going ham? I was saying, I'm going beef stew because you know I'm righteous. I don't eat no swine. Niggas bit that. Niggas, I had... You know, a whole t-shirt line, you know, mixedunit.com had it, sold out numerous times. Niggas bit everything. Niggas took my going beef stool. Niggas made podcasts out of it. I'm like, damn, just salute. Come come see me. You need an idea, come see me. Niggas is nasty, man. Oh, shouts to the um the homies leaving cash apps too. Um if I if I ain't shout you this um live, I, I shout you on the next live. Shout to all my sponsors, man. Shouts to the Rec Mob too. Salute to the Rec Mob. Um, I'm gonna go live again, maybe tomorrow. But on before I close out this live, I'm gonna say this because I don't want people getting it confused. DMX, incredible artist, incredible live performer, incredible song maker, made anthems. Um, Lloyd Banks, incredible lyrics. Incredible lyricists. Two different criteria of MCs. Well, I would say DMX is an MC too, but two different type of artists. Let's say, let's say that. And, you know, I like them both. I like them both for different things. You feel me? You know, it is what it is. And, and the best always clash. The best always clash at the top. So on that note, Double deuces and bubble gooses. You feel me? You know, that's my lingo. And I'm gone. Salute to the wreck mall. Boom. And we stayed with like almost 700. We still got 500 in the room and I'm closing out. Gone. These niggas' numbers is fake too. <laughs> Don't believe they numbers. You see, they look spooky during the pandemic. These niggas, these niggas got the COVID. The niggas had the COVID before the COVID came in with them fake numbers.